What's going on, lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So, in today's little hunting video, I'm going to be dragging you along uh, one of my daily hunting things, and we are going to be going out and hunting some papos. We're going to be doing the daily papo containment, and uh, this is something you can do every day, and the reward that you get from it is uh, you get oil. Not crude oil, you get straight oil that you can put in your your ship, your car, your whatever you want to put it into. Um, however, one thing that I have noticed is that it takes around about 20 to 22 PED to do this mission generally. So, and, and, but then you get like 2.2 PED. So, yeah, it takes like 22 PED to do, and you get like 2.2 PED of oil back, which is always nice. So you get kind of like, you get a little, you get a little bit of a return. I think that's a, what is that, like a 10% return? So, like, on average, these dailies that you can get from this uh, cartographer, in fact, most of the dailies that you can do here on uh, Next Island that yield um, items as a reward, uh, especially things like the containments, I think also the, the Stell VIP missions and stuff like that, uh, once you're actually able to do the Stell VIP mission, uh, you're able to uh, pretty much do a bunch of missions that tend to give about 10% back of what you put in. So you just need to make like 90%. And considering you're going to make like 95% anyway, across like your entire span, there is that possibility that you could just make bank. I don't know. It's it, it's 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 just it's just a little bit it's just a little bit extra. You get some loot, loot that you may or may not use, but you also get oil, which is always useful. Um, so yeah, you go over there, you get the, the those people over there. There was peoples over there that were a part of my society. Fantastic. So once you've uh, gotten that, you want to go up over to here, and it's like a it's a papo uh, containment thing, but. There is a spot, right, there, there is a specific spot that if you can't do all of that, you can go and find these papos in a separate spot. Generally, un unless there's someone else there, you tend to get the entirety, maybe bar one bigger papo. It's so weird. So, I've got, uh, I've got my Corrosive Attack Nanochip 4, and I've got my Synthetic Mind Essence. Was that a thing on the floor? No, I could have sworn there was something on the floor. Guess I'm just tripping. Guess I'm just tripping out. But, doesn't matter. So, generally you want to come up here and you want to do this wave event. And, like I said, it takes like 20 PED to do. Give or take. Um, for me anyway. On average. We'll actually look at how much it costs. Once we've finished it. And all that good stuff. And uh, then, yeah, we'll we'll chat about it afterwards. But uh, while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you guys about a comment that I got in my previous video that has a lot of good ins like a lot of good information in it. However, I do think uh, I have talked, I've spoken about this stuff in the past. So I got a comment from uh, Jacob Logan, Jacob Logan. I think it's I think it's Jacob Logan. Um, I think it's uh, yeah, I think so. But uh, he commented on on the video, essentially disagreeing with my. Uh, path. I only spoke about a little bit of my like my plans when it comes to what I'm doing in game, uh, specifically when it comes to what I'm doing with my spare PED, and he disagrees with all, with what I'm doing, and he's also said that he disagrees with advice that I've given to free to play and uh, low depot players. Now the thing is, I've given a lot of in like I've given a lot of information to free to play and low depot players you know i talk about uh sweating i talk about fruit walking in fact i'm going to be uh building upon i'm going to be building upon uh my sweating and fruit finding stuff at a later date because you know i've i've, I've developed well i've not developed but i've uh, found more information that i think is really important in fact i'm going to link the video where I've where I've learnt this information, specifically how to do a specific type of sweating, a specific type of swant, 
Um, I learned it from Disciples of Alion, and I'll, as long as I remember, I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description below. Um, but anyway, so, Jacob, uh, essentially said that for most new players, uh, buying a new Treasure Island share, you know, as soon as they're able to get one is a bad idea, and I'm inclined to agree. Uh, I think he, I think what he said, and I'll throw it up on screen so you can pause and read the comment, uh, it was... A person, a new player could sweat, uh, go to a sweat circle, sell sweat, get 10 PED, and then buy a new Treasure Island share, and, but even if that new Treasure Island share pays out, uh, every week, they're still only gonna get a 1 PEC thing, on average. Where, instead of buying, um, that was a, that was a decent little one. Instead of buying a new Treasure Island share, or any share really, doesn't have to be new Treasure Island, um, but buying buying a share, instead of that, using that money to then try to buy sweat at a lower price, and then sell sweat at a higher price. So, in a sweat group, or in a sweat circle, while they're sweating, try to buy uh, a, uh, a 1k stack for 1.3, and then selling it on a, uh, you know, like a Cali trade or something like that for 1.4. Now, I, and, and, and it will yield 10 times the amount. See, I don't disagree with that uh, notion. I don't disagree with that plan. However, there's going to be like, uh, there's going to be a, a limit to the amount that you're going to be doing, right? There's going to be a limit to the amount that you're going to be buying and selling. And it bodes true with his next part, which was uh, ascertaining to me, saying that I should buy large stacks of animal muscle oil at 100.8%, and then selling them in smaller stacks for 101.5 to 102% markup. And that is something that I could do, but I don't like doing it. That's why I don't personally do it. I don't trade. If I wanted to trade, I could probably trade. But I'm not a fan of trading, mainly because my brain just... I don't know, I can't focus on it enough. You know, I can't... Uh, I can't focus on it. I would much rather put my PED in a spot where it's sort of like a set it and forget it kind of thing. Where I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, market... Uh, like, market values and the uh the auction fees and stuff like that because then there's more math that i have to do and if i'm 100 percent honest i would much rather just do my swanting and uh i would much rather do my swanting and put my spare uh peds into deeds and shares like, but that's just me that's just me all right like there, there will be people that would think that uh buying shares and deeds at all is a just a bad idea and they'd much rather put that, like, keep that uh, PED in hunting and making sure that they're hunting things that are, that they know will give them a good markup and then possibly swanting if need be. And, and you know, there are people out there, I think, uh, Maury K. Uh, Maury K. <laughs> I know, I know Maury, he has specific things that he hunts that he just doesn't disclose like that, you know. When you know what, when you know something special, you don't disclose it. When you want to keep it for yourself, you don't tend to disclose stuff. Um, but the people are going to want to put their PEDs into different stuff. But uh, uh, just just on this one specific uh, comment, I think both is a good idea. What do I mean by both? All right, let's say a new player. Uh, actually, and I would also change the way you uh, would do it. I wouldn't sit in a sweat circle. Um, what I would do is, instead of sitting in a sweat circle, I would wait till I've gotten to 15 PEDs, right? I would wait until I've gotten to 15 PED. I would use 9 PED to buy a knife, like a TT knife. Um, or even a. I would try to see if someone could take me over to... 
uh, Sirene to get the Maze Hammer. That That's also another good one. Uh, I, I like the Maze Hammer. Adds a little bit of a speedy boost. And, you know, gotta go fast. All that good stuff. So what I'd do is I'd get a TT knife. And I would do Swanting. Instead of sitting in a sweat circle, I would do Swanting. I would use Disciple of Alien's way of Swanting. Which is pretty much just kiting the mob. Which... I, I didn't even know I didn't even know that was a thing that you can do. I thought as soon as you were using an item on something, you're locked in that fixed like direction, that fixed position. I didn't know that with the sweating tool, you can just m manually target the mob, but like run back. Like look, look, look. Like you can you can run. Like and 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 even if you're facing the wrong direction, you can still draw sweat, and as, as long as you don't get hit, it doesn't break concentration. It's really cool. So what I would do is I would wait until I've got 15 PED. I would get nine P. I would spend nine PED on a TT knife. I would personally go out and swant whatever I want. Really, I like I like swanting Exarasaurs, so I would go out and swant ex, uh, swant the Exarasaurs. I might even I might even try to swant something else if it's slow enough. Don't know. But I'll swan Xarasaurs using Disciple of Alion's method that I learnt from watching his video. Link in the description. And then I would use that other 6 PED to do the buying and selling of the sweat. Right? But then what do I do after that? Because if I found a gameplay loop that I can kind of do and make PED, what do I want to do then? Me, personally, I would put my money into shares and deeds because I don't like trading on auction house i don't like the idea of trying to buy a massive stack worth like thousands of ped uh for a really low like a low markup and then trying to break it down to stacks and trying to sell it for lower because even though you might have personal experience with being able to sell it i've never had luck selling it i i've I've tried it before myself, and all I end up with is just losing PED on the uh, on the auction fees. And that's just from my personal experience. That's why I personally don't do it. But you might have, I don't know, you might have uh, better, you might even sell it off the auction house. You might have connections. Like, if you can find someone willing to buy muscle oil at 101... And you're able to buy it for like 100.4 because I actually saw a huge stack worth of like a thousand ped stack uh, on the auction house, which was at 140. Sorry, not 140. 100.4 percent markup. I saw it yesterday because I was going through the uh, like I was looking at his comment. I'm like, I wonder. And then I saw it, if I had it, like, and, and I thought about, you know, the, the whole buying and selling, but I, it's just, I've been burnt before in the past. So if you're someone that's able to, like, you have a contact, then maybe it's a good idea for you. I don't have, like, trade contacts, I don't have people that I can, like, sell muscle oil for 101, because I, because I, I, I would sell it for... You know, 101% markup, because I would want to try to sell it for less than the auction house for those smaller stacks. Y you know? And it's not like you're the... Uh, it's not like Jacob is the first person to uh, mention the buying and selling on the auction house. There are people in my society that have mentioned, uh, like, have spoken about in the society chat about buying, uh, you know, the big stacks and then selling them in, like, real small stacks. Or, uh, hunt, sorry, not buying, but hunting, and then selling the animal muscle oil in smaller stacks, but for more, uh, more markup. Which is more what I'm inclined to do. I'd much rather try that than to buy the stack and then break it up. I don't know, it just seems a little bit, uh, it just seems a little bit more simpler to me. Right, so, like, when it comes to... When it comes to, like, investing and things like that, when do I think someone should invest? Like, like okay, if you're a... If you're a free-to-play player, 
I don't think you should invest money into shares and deeds until you're at, in a comfortable stride, right? If you're able able to, you know, swant whatever mob you enjoy swanting, or even if you're a fruit find, if you're a fruit walker, and a sto and you look, if you look for fruit and stone, right? There's a good chance that you can find things like rutol and truton. I say a good chance. If you're actively looking for stuff, and you're actively running around looking for fruit and stone, you have a higher chance of finding it than some rando that's just hanging around hunting grey papos. You know? It's, it's, it, is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, but... And I think this is actually the last wave, so I might actually get have to show you guys the... The spot where the bigger grey papos are. Is this the last wave? I think so. Okay. So that was the last wave. So I now need to go to... Ba, 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 ba. I have a nice little handy dandy spot. Bigger grey papos. How you going? Where you at? Over there. Over there. You are over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, while we're heading over there, I will... Continue to chat about this uh so with the with with the, with the whole shares and deeds thing if you're a low depot player then i think you should invest in shares and deeds if you're a free to play player i think you should invest in shares and deeds once you're comfortable because think about it this way if you're a low depot player let's say you're a low depot player. You're using your boot. You're, like, you're using uh, your bukens or your Barbarella or a TT pistol or a knife or you're doing some mining, whatever. Ooh, carrot. And at the end of like, and, and you deposit like five bucks a week, right? Let's say you deposit five bucks a week. Let's say uh, you get lucky and at the end of the week when you're ready to put in another fifty, you're you know, you have like 30 to 40 PED because you got lucky, right? Like, I would say, you know, if you're comfortable with doing that again, why not, why, why not uh, throw that money into, like, why not put that PED into shares and deeds? Unless you want to get yourself some armor or another weapon or whatever. Because the more you're able to build up your portfolio, then the higher chance you'll have of being able to do bigger stuff later on down the line, if that makes sense. Like, it makes sense in my head, but obviously it's not going to make sense to everyone. Other people are going to have their own, like, thoughts and feelings and stuff like that. Like, if I was to, if I was to categorize, like, if I was to, if I was to categorize a level of when you should be buying deeds and shares I think if you have 10 PED that you have absolutely that that you're absolutely not going to do anything with you have a you're like 100% 100% spare 10 PED why not buy a uh, why, why not buy a a share you know why not buy a share and just keep it there and, and watch it give you that one peck a week. You know? Or if you have, like, a couple... If you have a few hundred PED just sitting there. Let's say you have, like, 500 PED sitting there. You prefer to do your low-level stuff. And, like, you're in a situation where you have that 500 PED just sitting there. You know, buy some uh, Arcadia Underground Deeds. Because it's just going to give you some extra in the end. Like, that's all it's going to do. It's just going to give you some extra... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. But anyway, that's that, That's kind of my... That That's kind of my thoughts on that matter. Like, so... While I'm uh, tracking... You know, I'm going to pause and then... Unpause. Alright, so I was here earlier and there was grey papos... Of bigger sizes just fucking everywhere. Yeah, there they are. And providers. I think the providers are the small ones and the, yeah, the guardians are... No, I think these guys are the bigger ones. Anyway. So I found, I found this early. So if you want, like... 
keep this place in mind. Like, for if you run out. There is another spot with grey papos, but those papos are, like, smaller. Like, those grey papos are smaller, and there's not as many... Finding a bigger guy is sort of few and far between. You know, it's... It, it, it just is what it is. In fact, I think these are the ones that Stevie B tends to hunt whenever he's hunting monkeys. I think. I think. Alright, so we got our 2.2 PED worth of oil. And I didn't check to see how much... No, I think this was at 22. I think this was at 22 PED... I think, yeah, I think it was at 22.9 PED. So we're going to say we lost 2 PED on that. And I fucking don't know what that was on because I didn't repair it because I'm a dumb dumb. I, I am of the big dumb. Don't do what I do. Do not be of the big dumb. Uh, and it looks like we spent just... So yeah, we spent about... Tw I'm going to say we spent about 22 PED on that when it comes to stuff. You could do this... You could do this unarmored. So, you know, so I'm not going to count that into my assessment. In fact, if I didn't have armor, I might have gotten a better loot uh, variety. I don't know. But uh, let's, ha let's have a look. So, grab this stuff. And it looks like... I I'm going to say we profited a little bit. We profited just enough. We profited just enough. And, and you know, there was a couple of decent little... There was a couple of decent little hits in there, but nothing too major, right? So, like, if you're on next, like, if you're on uh, next island, give this, give this stuff a crack, man. Give, give, uh, give these missions a crack, because they, they give, they give you oil, and, and uh, it's a good way to, I don't know, bounce back. I don't know, and you could probably swamp these guys as well. You know, give, give it a, give it a try. Anyway, hey, look, there's some shit on the floor. Like, actual shit. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be leaving it there. Um, and and just, to, just to, guess, wrap things up in a bow, do what works for you. And uh, if you did make it to the end of the video, I will say that I'm going to be abstaining from doing any informational videos in the future. I think the only one that I'm going to do is going to be uh, on, like, a, 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 a little... I guess what I've been doing recently when it comes to swanting to make certain swanting times a little bit less monotonous, you know, at times. Because it does, it does become monotonous at times, but there are ways to break it up just so it doesn't seem as monotonous, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, so yeah, do what you like, uh, just enjoy the game, and take what I say and everyone else says with a grain of salt, and uh, yeah, so I won't be doing any informationally stuff. I'm just going to be playing the game. I'm just going to be doing hunting, mining, enjoying myself, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be leaving it there. You'll take care. Stay safe. I'll see you all in the next one. And I forgot to also mention a big special thank you to my members here on YouTube, Midnight Bacon, Kobeck420. Thank you very much for your uh, dollary dues each month they go towards funding this stuff and it is greatly appreciated and you guys humble me you humble me anyway have a good one guys